I love bows. <laughs> it's tough not to. to the clarinet or the oboe, the flute. Trombones. We got a lot going on there. Wow. Here's what it is. I don't know what your TV sounds like, but I love big TVs. I love small TVs. I love TVs of any kind. But I love TVs. The pro I just love TVs. But I will tell you this. The picture is what they really, really work hard on and not as much on the audio or on the sound. So for so many of us, we have bought these and you add it to your TV. We are going to let you listen to with and without the bows. And let me just say, you look at that price, $199. I don't know how much you spend on your TV, but if you spend $199 and you get a Bose sound bar, I can tell you right now, that just up the value of what you see and what you hear to the nth degree. Yeah. I never even realized how much I needed it till I got one. Well, I, I think a lot of us struggle just to hear dialogue, right? You, I mean, I, I was showing off there because this really is a two-in-one. It's a, it's a music system as much as it is for your television. But raise your hand if it, maybe it's you. Somebody in your family keeps turning up the volume. But if the volume sounds like this at this level and you make it louder, it's still muddy. Yeah. It's still difficult to, to hear. So what's the answer? The answer is two plugs. One goes into here, into the back of the, uh, the sound bar. The other one goes into the wall. So let's start Super by simple. listening to the TV speakers by themselves without the help of Bose. And we'll see what we got here. This is turned up about as loud as it will go. This is not about volume. It's about clarity. There we go. We have main engine start. Feel that heartbeat. When I go back to the TV speaker. It's there. But first of all, all the bottom end is gone. All the separation. Let's take it from the top again. You're going to hear the TV speaker by itself. I'm going to turn this up, up as loud as it's going to go without distorting. This is just the speakers on the television. Three, two, one. Oh. Hear how that car jumps out? <laughs> yeah. Doesn't, doesn't have to get louder. No. It just has to separate. Yeah. Those choppers sound like they're going over our head. Oh, my word. Yeah. I can tell you. And like you said, it goes back to clarity. Yeah. It's being able to hear the individual voices, the women's voices, the men's voices, the, the cars, the, you know, all of those things. All the separation. And yet... I gotta tell you, it's all about bows. Why should we trust bows? Well, this is all they do since 64. Since 1964, there's a lot of electronic companies out there. And they do, they do a lot of different stuff. They make headphones, but they also make you know, car parts, or they're making your dishwasher, or your washing machine, or, or your refrigerator. And I'm not exaggerating. Do, yeah. you know, do the research and you'll see that that's the case. Bose just does one thing. They make the sound sound like it should. That should almost be the slogan because it really is true. We had the, uh, we had the in-ears, the earbuds last hour. Yeah. That is truly a, a, a out-of-body experience when you listen to them in your ears. But when you can take your television, and to your point, Mary Beth, you said earlier, uh, TV companies don't do a great job on the sound for one reason. It's not for being lazy. It's not for lack of effort. It's that the televisions are so thin now that there physically is no room to put an audio system. The, t the speakers on this particular TV, and by the way, Samsung TV, I own Samsung TVs at home. They all yeah. have sound bars on them. Me the, too. The yeah. speakers are underneath the television, which means they're firing downward. The sound is firing into the table. It's muffled and it doesn't sound very good. How do you fix it? Plug the sound bar in. One cable, we, get, we give you both cables. One goes into the wall, one goes into the back of the TV. Let's listen again to the speakers on the television first. And then we'll switch over. I'm leaning in so you can kind of get yeah. it off my microphone, too. Hear that heartbeat? 
When we get back to the TV, it's not a volume issue. It's a clarity thing. It's all about being able to differentiate between the dialogue and what's going on in the action itself. TV speakers, host speakers, TV, host. It's never, this never gets old. I know it. TV speakers again one more time. And then Bose. Um, let me show you something that may... I was just going to say, first yeah. of all, I didn't even get a chance to introduce this man. But okay. actually, if you've been watching today, you've probably <laughs> seen him. Um, Brett Hamilton, That's really, okay. truly an electronics expert. But he also brings us the Bose and the Click Free and all these the fun stuff. things. Here's what I want to just quickly yeah. say. If all you do is use it to get better clarity off of your television, whatever television it is. Mm -hmm. It could be your bedroom TV, it could be your family room TV, it can be your man cave TV, whatever it is. I will tell you right now, you will say that is some of the best $200 that you have spent on electronics. No doubt about but it. But <laughs> we're gonna take it a step further because not only do you have to just use it to listen to TV. Yeah. Let's talk about that. Well, you can listen to music on it as well, which is super cool. But before I even get into that, I want to show you something that I sometimes forget to show you, yeah. <laughs> which makes a huge difference. If you take a look at the remote control in the lower right-hand corner, there is a little tiny, it almost looks like a thought bubble. Uh -huh. That is the dialogue enhancement button. That's the magic bullet right there. Got it. For those of you that watch the movie and can't understand what the actors are saying because of the helicopters, because of the car crashes, because of the explosions or whatever it might be, press that button. If your hearing is not as great as it used to be when it comes to the bottom end, the low end, the bass, there's also a bass enhancement button right there. Right above it is Bluetooth. When you press that, you can connect it to a phone, a tablet, a computer, and play your music. Switch back over to the TV simply by hitting that. You got your power, you got your volume up and down. You will need to use this um, for the volume on your television. Yeah. But you can also, and uh, there's no way to show that, there's no way to turn this around. Um, you can mount this if you want on the wall or whatever, yeah. but I recommend just dropping it to the, you know, yeah. right, be right below the TV itself. Right. Um, um, one quick thing I just want to yeah. say too. You know, it goes back to this whole show is Mary Beth's favorite gifts. And this is a gift to yourself. But if you want to pay $279, just wait a while, okay? And it'll go back up. Or you can pay $199 today and save yourself that $80. That's what I recommend. Because I like to save oh, money sorry. too. I didn't mean okay. to run, I didn't mean to run you over. I, I know we don't have a ton of time left, <laughs> yeah. but I, I want to play this, this video, this trippy little video here. I'm not exactly sure what's going on here, <laughs> but this is a great way for you to hear all the little tiny nuances. TV speakers first, I'm going to shut up. And then Bose. Back to the TV. You notice the volume doesn't get any louder or softer. It's just what you're hearing versus what you're not hearing. All right, let's let's start it the other way. Let's start it with the with Bose the speaker. Bose. I like this. Yeah. <laughs> Listen. And then let's go back to the TV. Notice immediately that oomph, that bottom, that bass. Just dropped out. Yep. All that percussion disappears. Yeah. Um, oh, sorry. Listen. No, go ahead. Keep going. Let me get back to the TV for a sec. And that's okay. not two different volumes. No, I'm trying to get this as loud as I can. Yeah. Pretty incredible. Um, okay, say that again, Scott. My producer's asking the question. 
Yeah, how do you connect this to your TV? Yep. I mean, basically, you put it in, the, in the, one of the ports on the back of the TV, yeah, this the comes audio. With, this comes with something called an optical cable. Yeah. Uh, it's, it'll fit on any flat screen TV. The two cables that you need to, to work this machine to make it work come in the box. One is the optical cable. It will only fit in one, one section or one spot back here, mm -hmm. one port. It will only fit in one place back here on any TV. It does not matter when you bought it or, um, or who makes it. Yeah. And then the other one's the power cord. And when you plug it in, basically what you should do is just turn down the volume on your television. You can leave it on if you want. That's exactly right. You can, but I, I kind of feel like the two might yeah. run into each other, although yeah. this is going to be the dominant, as you could hear, bouncing back and forth between yeah. those two. And then you're just going to use the remote on here for your volume from here on out. So that's the, yeah. only, the only caveat is that you would need to have, have a second extra. remote. Yeah. But it's not, well, it's so not that big for, a deal. We big, already, first world problem. Yeah, 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 first world problems is yeah. right. Because here's what I want to tell you. Scott, how many of these did you say? We have 500 remaining that you can get at this sale price right now. And you know what? It, I know people who have bought a couple of these because they put it on their bedroom um, TV. They put it, because here's the thing. Remember, I want to tell you something. You don't even have to have a big bedroom or a, or a big, big family TV. room or, or a big even TV. a big TV. It's not about volume or filling that room. It's about the clarity. Oh, listen to this. guys are listening through our tiny microphones through your TV speaker. <laughs> exactly. how, how ironic. You're listening through the problem. <laughs> Wait till you get it home. From something that pretty to something a little more upbeat as we run out of time, this just is. You know the brushes on that snare drum? The they shine so bright across the snow. And because it's Bluetooth, I can actually run it through my phone. That's what I'm doing. I'm playing That's the what music. He's doing. I'm playing the music off here, and if you don't yes. believe me, I just tap on this and I jump to another song. How Suppose about that? that? Yeah. I gotta tell you, you're having that dinner party. You want the best music in your home. This is it. Whether it's you know, even you don't have to unplug it from your no. TV to use it on Bluetooth from your phone. Though all I put my hand back here because that's where I keep my phone. <laughs> it's not there right now. But anyway, the whole thing is get this now. You can pay $279 later, or you can pay $199 right now. You've got a number one name brand in audio, and you've got QVC sale price. That's why I say. And you got Brett Hamilton. Hey, hey now. You know, there you go. <laughs> he doesn't come with it, but anyway. Hey, Brett and I are going to be up in a little bit with our today's special value in about 30 minutes. 